Welcome to Building Science, where we take a look at the innovation behind some of the leading products that you use every day. And we take a look at the process and ingenuity of the world's leading manufacturers. Today, we take a look at LP Smart Side Trim and Siding on Building Science. Building Science has traveled to Two Harbors, Minnesota, on the shores of Lake Superior. And in a town of nearly 4,000 people, the LP manufacturing plant is truly the epicenter of the area. The product manufactured in this building is one of the fastest growing in the market space. This is LP SmartSide Engineered Wood Siding. It's a popular upgrade for many homeowners and offers beauty, but more importantly, durability. Using special waxes, resins, and preservatives to prevent damage and decay from insects and the elements. So what's so special about this product? and why should you care? Understand now? Here's Brad Southern to explain more. Our product is a composite wood product. It's an engineered wood product. And you know, what that means to me is we're taking a basic raw material, which is aspen, and we're adding very sophisticated resin as a binding agent, very sophisticated zinc borate as a treating element, and then a very sophisticated phenolic resin overlay. Adding that in with a very basic material, which is you know, chipped up aspen, and making an engineered composite wood product that is better than wood. What we do here at LP is we put all that science together into a product called SmartSide that we're very proud of and that we believe is the best product in the marketplace. What I find very exciting about our product is the performance of our product. It, uh, you know, we do a lot of customer tours in this mill and uh, we bring people through who are very skeptical of the product. You know, you hear the comment that it's OSB with paper on it and people come in, they learn the process, um, they see how it's manufactured, they understand the durability of the product and uh, once they've been through the mill and they've used our material, it's it's sold and the repeat customers. It isn't something that uh, um, somebody uses once and there's any kind of disappointment. They, they stick with it. When you think about the product itself and the way that it's engineered, the way it's put together, the specifications and the standards that it has to meet, that's based on real sound data, based on years of research and development. So we have a proven design that we know works. And then we have a manufacturing process that is tightly controlled from beginning to end. So by the time it comes out, we know that's a good quality product. Knowing what goes into the products that you use every day might not keep you up at night, but it should make you think. For instance, did you know that this product is made from regenerating trees? And that's just the beginning. Aspen is uh, one of those trees that when you cut it down, it regenerates from its own roots. When contractors come through our plants, which many do to see how, the, how our product is made, they're pretty awestruck by the, the technology that underlines it, the quality control that we put into the product. And they come away with an understanding that this is a fairly sophisticated process. It's backed by a really robust technology platform. They become you know, even bigger advocates for the product once they've seen how it's made because of the sophistication of the manufacturing process. Some people talk about you know, our siding being similar to OSB. It is similar from the standpoint that we rely on strands to make up the backbone of the product, to make it as strong as it is, but as light as it is. But the strands themselves are actually smaller, so you get a more uniform substrate. OSB, commodity OSB, uses much larger strands. And that is done by design? Done by design, by very intentional design. Next time on Building Science, we show you how they turn this into this into this. It's an incredible process you have to see to believe. For Building Science, I'm Adam Grubb. <laughs>